The center was established at a time uh, where financing was always a challenge. And so the center since 2003 has been a self-finance institution. So even though it's a CARICOM uh, institution, all of the funding to run the operations of the center is obtained by the center on its own. And, and that is in itself is a remarkable achievement that 15 years since establishment, the center is still able to raise all of the funds uh, to conduct its operation and provide financing for climate change work in the region. And um, the numbers speak for themselves. In fact, since 2005, up until January 2020, the center has leveraged and mobilized over 200 and uh, uh, $50 million uh, for implementation of a wide range of projects in all of the CARICOM countries uh, in the region for climate change adaptation, for climate change mitigation, um, and particularly in terms of uh, the research and gathering the data on climate change. So because of Dr. Leslie's efforts and his ability to forge partnerships with other regional institutions like the Caribbean Institute of Meteorology and Hydrology uh, and the University of West Indies and the modeling group uh, and putting up automatic weather stations all over the Caribbean along with coral reef uh, monitoring station. All of this data is now being used to help guide countries in terms of their decision-making as it relates to climate change adaptation. Uh, the center also under his leadership became accredited to the Green Climate Fund, which is the world's largest uh, fund that is set up uh, to fund climate change mitigation and adaptation efforts. And the center is now accredited. It is one of two in the region.